Hello everybody, how you doing? Uh, I want to start by saying thank you for all of the great ideas you guys sent me on drilling that tube out. It's kind of a funny story. I published that video and I sent it up, <clears throat> I don't know, about 9.30 last night. Later on, I went to bed and uh, my dog, Noelle, little dog you saw her the other day, wakes me up at 1.30 in the morning. She needs to go outside. So I took her out and I came back in and I just couldn't get back to sleep. So I went and sat on the couch just to kind of kill some time. And I don't know why, I wasn't thinking of anything. It hit me. You're trying to drill all the way through about a two, two and a half inch tube. <clears throat> you really only need to drill far enough in each end to insert the pin component that goes in that end. Now, why in the world I was trying to drill all the way through the tube, I have no idea. So I think the method I was using should work just fine because I was able to get two thirds of the way through. I just wasn't able to get any farther. So I'm going to try that. But before I do, I've got another project I've got to start tonight. This I'm hoping is going to be a simple project. This is my daughter's bow that she shoots. My boys have bows that look just like them. They're just different colors. The other day, <clears throat> we're in a tournament last Saturday. This right here is the arrow rest. When she shoots, the arrow lays on there. She pulls back to shoot. This little wire broke on her at the tournament. Luckily, I had a spare that I had purchased and put in her case. But the two coaches that were working on it, and I'm friends with both of them. They're really great guys. They give a lot of time, and I appreciate everything they do for the kids. They were trying to get this out, and one of the coaches was using his pocket knife. They were trying to pry. They just couldn't get it out because it's really pressed in there hard. We were talking about it tonight, and on this side, you can see this little black hole here. Let me show you. That's just a little hole, okay? This goes, it goes inside of the rest. So I said, you know what? I could probably make a tool for that. He said, it'd be great to have something. So I got this Allen wrench that fits, and I thought I'd turn a little, little knob, kind of like a knob on maybe a dresser drawer, and, you know, cut it about that far down, whoops, about that far down, to where he could just put it on there, take his hand, and push from this side and pop that thing right out because it goes all the way through because some kids are left-handed, some are right-handed. So I'm going to goof around tonight and see if I can make two of those, one for each of the coaches. And Thursday night, we, have, we actually have a night practice because this is I-Step week, so they're, they're not allowed to get the kids up that early and practice. So they're going to have a 2.30 to whatever practice, 3.30 or something. So I thought if I could make these up, I'll give them to my daughter and she could take them to practice with her and give each, each of the coaches one of these little tools. That way, next time they've got to do it, you know, I'm hoping to make it about that big around or so, they can just put it on air, pop it right out, pop the new one in, and the kid's back to shooting because it was funny. While they're working on it, it took about five minutes. That doesn't seem like a lot of time, but each kid has five arrows. 48 kids are shooting. 47 kids are done. Her first arrow is the arrow that it broke on. So, so she's standing there waiting and the whole place is just quiet, just watching, you know. And then she was nervous as heck because everybody was done shooting except her and she had to shoot in front of them. So I tell you what, I, I got way off topic, which is pretty common for me. But I'm going to play around with this tonight and see if I can get this little tool made up. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like if it works out. Hopefully I can finish at least one of them tonight. And uh, as soon as that's done, I'll get back on the arrow because, man, I've got some great ideas. I really think, I really think I'm going to be able to make that work, and I think it's going to be really sweet. So I'll be back in touch in a few minutes. Well, I'm back. I had a, I had a little bit of bad luck with the first tool handle I turned. I got a catch when I got close to the end and blew it right off the lathe. But I came back and I turned a second one, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. All I've got to do is clean up the bottom, and when I do, we'll get the, the Allen wrench inserted in there, and I think this is going to work great. I am really pleased. That cherry is just gorgeous. Look at the grain in that, how it pops. It's a little dusty from my hands. They're kind of dirty, but it's gorgeous. Um, I'll come back, and I, I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight. I think I'll go ahead and flatten the face out and try to get a little bit of a finish on it. Uh, and then I probably, I need some epoxy is why I don't think I'll finish it tonight. But I think I'll come back tomorrow night and uh, get the hole drilled and get, uh, get the tool epoxied in the, in the handle. Well, I didn't keep my word. I stuck it out and I finished the tool and it works great. I put a quick little video over on uh, YouTube as well as Instagram just showing how it worked. And I've got the stuff together to do a video uh, for, um, for my other channel just to show the making of it. So pretty happy with it. Um, I used thin CA glue to hold it in. It's all I had. 
Uh, I don't expect it to last very long, uh, but uh, I'll get some epoxy maybe tomorrow, and uh, we'll make sure it stays in there for good. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Have a great evening.